Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gentalian, and welcome back to Slime Rancher episode 19. Okay, while I was doing some background work, I did a boof, and basically I did some work that I should have recorded, but I realized I wasn't recorded only afterwards, so it's just... I got the- I did farm work, and I got- found the quantum gordo, and I boomed them, and here's booming the tangle gordo. And hi! Top triple pair there. There, tangle slimes. Anyhow, as you can see. As I was mentioning, I got really distracted once I put the rock plorts into the statues and I got the spring working and I grabbed the water right away and watered some flowers. Uh, I think I watered like three. So yeah, I also got a mosaic slime and now I've got six tangles. Whoopsie! Oh, uh, here's one. Those are purple pears and I kind of need those. I will be keeping... The, uh... My fruit, because there is a dervish gordo somewhere about. Okay, there we go. Pickle pear. And there's a tar. Of course there is. Yeah, the, the odd onions were from my farm. I grabbed them so I could feed the rock ports. Rock ports. Rock slimes. I know words. Hi there. Okay. If I recall correctly, you're a one-way teleporter back to my farm. And that might actually be a plan. Anyway, I can show you my uh, brand new uh, corral. It has my dervishes in it. I also, um, over at the science area, got the fire pit for my fire slimes. So that's a thing too. And that's not where I'm going for that. This is where I'm going for that. And fire slimes, like water slimes, cannot be, uh, cannot be turned into largos, so there's that. There. There we go, aren't you pretty? And this is for the prickle pears, which are the dervish's favorite. This corral shall be for the tangles. Also, as you notice, I accidentally put the solar shield on the dervish's uh, corral. That was just a mistake on my part, and I can't just get rid of the solar shield without getting rid of everything else. So, it's gonna stay. It's not like it's gonna bother them. You guys eat meat, so I have to go get chickens for you. Right, while I'm at that, I'm going to toss in that. You know, just so you guys don't get cranky, I'm going to toss in some mint mangoes for you. Because you eat fruit. And in the meantime, I'm going to go get some chickens. Because tangles only eat meat, and I don't have any other kind of meat to feed them with. Well, 
It's not so much I don't have the right meat. It's more along the lines of... I do not have uh, another slime to fuse them with yet. I don't think, actually... It's been a while since I've checked the Slimepedia. Here we are! Slimepedia! Okay, Fire Slime! Fire Slimes are a rare breed of slime that live on ash. Fire Slimes will eat just about any food, but not without it being burnt to an ash into ashes first. The only way to feed a Fire Slime is to use an incinerator with an ash tray upgrade. Fire Slimes need ash to survive and will con quickly snuff out if left on any sur other surface for too long. When keeping Fire Slimes in an ash tray, simply burn any food item to produce some ash and fill the trough. Yep, and here's my Dervish Slimes. A Dervish Slime is a swirling, whirling bundle of energy in slimy form. Dervish Slimes are commonly found in the glass desert, cruising across its dusty dunes at high speed atop little whirlwinds. One thing is for certain, wherever the Dervish Slime needs to go is going to get there in a hurry. Here's the Tangle. A slime that that achoo! Though the Tangle Slime may look innocent with its wide smile and colorful flower atop its head, it's actually a fearsome predator with a big appetite for tasty meat. The Tangle Slime earned its name from the twisting vines that it can produce to grab things in the environment. It's unknown what caused the Tangle Slime to become such a fearsome predator in the barren wastes of the gra glass desert. However, if the land once re resembled the lush greenery of the oasis within, perhaps the Tangle Slime evolved in a much different environment than what you see today. And here's my mosaic. The mosaic slime gets its name from the glittering array of glass tiles that cover its body. This glass produces a similar anomaly found in the desert itself, making the mosaic slime beautiful but quite dangerous. Yeah, there's still some slimes, but I don't think they're ones I could probably breed the tangle with. Hmm. I might want to use one of the slimes I already have to mix with the tangle, because feeding the tangle's meat is rather difficult. So yeah, that's it for that. Okay. The glass desert is a mostly uncharted territory within the far, far range. Located so far behind, beyond the range, it is only accessible via teleportation. The glass desert gets its name from the monolithic glass structures that dote its landscape. Resembling prismatic frozen flames, these glass structures are believed to have been created during a violent solar event, scorching the land and heating sand and stone into glass. These glass structures are also believed to be the catalyst for the dangerous solar anomalies that recur, regularly occur in the glass desert, firestorms that burst from the ground, as if intense heat is desperate to escape from the ground below. But the desert's barren, unforgiving, sometimes violent environment hides a secret. Somewhere deep within it lies a memory of once was, and a means of restoring parts of that memory. Yeah. So I think I might act it might be in my best interest. I'll get a rooster for you guys. My best interest to go and uh Get a slime I already have. Should I send you flying out? my tangles satisfied until I can figure out what else I'm going to do about them. Because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty much done when it comes to 
uh, use slimes. I don't want cranky slimes that are not fed properly. Maybe fuse them with my mosaics? There we go. There we go. And a stony hands for you guys. I go, oh yes, I nearly forgot to mention this, but in this pond when I first bought this area, this is the docks by the way, there's a rubber ducky, so I brought it to my puddle slimes because it makes them happy. You can now, I can now have five puddle slimes if I want, but I'm not really handling my ports anymore, so no big point in doing it. So there we go. I will not uh, get the painted hens from the glass desert, I'm not going to bother with that. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of bent out of shape over the fact there is no two-way teleporter to the, to the glass desert or to the ancient ruins at the very least. Oh, I have to go all the way there. Oh! I totally forgot! That star mail's been there forever! Casey! Sorry, Casey! I have not even read that yet. Keep, keep on staying over in the glass desert to do stuff, so I don't have time to go all the way here. Star mail! New Year's Eve! Casey! Hey, B! Do you remember New, Year New Year's Eve when we were looking for that party? While we were wandering around the city lost, I got my bearings and didn't tell you because I knew we were close to that coffee shop run by the tyrant. And since it was starting to rain, I thought it would be really romantic to stumble across the place again. I guess I finally found the courage. But the coffee shop went out of business and it was a taco place now. So we ate tacos in the rain and it was just the best thing. We were on the roof of your old apartment hoping to see the fireworks. I was going to tell you something then, but that's when you told me about Africa. It sounded like an amazing trip. I was really happy you were doing what you love to do. Casey. Aww. Kept on getting interrupted. <laughs> Poor guy. Or, well, there's no- There's nothing saying that it's not a gr girl. In fact, if I recall correctly, the developers for this game purposely left KC with no canonological canon gender. They 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 are basically like interpret for yourself whether KC is a guy or a girl. If I recall correctly. So I'll keep the mint mangoes because I don't really have reason to get rid of them. Also, there was that dervish gordo, and they eat fruit, so I do not remember where the dervish gordo, the gordo went, or goes, or sits, wherever. Because I didn't- I totally forgot to look, look it up, so it is kind of- if we find- the Gordo, that's great. If not, then oh well. Always next time, next episode. When I can finally. Like, they gave you a nice one way teleporter that gets you from, from the ancient ruins to the. Uh, to your farm. And you did that for the glass desert as well, but there's no teleporter in either of those places that lets you 
go from your farm to them, or somewhere closer to your farm to them. And it's kind of annoying, honestly. It's such a far distance to go. I'm still here in the Indigo Quarry. I'm, I'm nearly to the Ancient Ruins, but still. It's, a, it's quite a distance. If they- if you had more slots for your backpack, it wouldn't be such an issue. But you only have four. So if you need to bring stuff, or if you need to gather stuff, or in the case of me grabbing a bunch of slimes because, hey, new slimes, wonderful. Well, you're a pooch. Because you, you've run out of space and there's you can't really do anything more with that. Well, at least we're at the Ancient Ruins now. And there's the tar. And before I go any further... Boom. There you go, that glass door is open. And so now I can go... Unhindered. Well, except hindered by my parkour skills. <sighs> Which are really, really poor. <laughs> probably an easier way to get up here. I'm sure there is. That or that was the easy way to get up there. And oh yes, in case you were wondering, the quantum slime was in a, on a ledge right in that one little corner. One sec. Right in here, there's, there was this little tiny ledge that you were supposed to drop off of. So I passed by that quarter several times before I had the frame of mind to just look down. <laughs> I was so confused. But I got there, I found it. And boom, last desert. Okay, so. Let's figure out where some flowers are. There's one flower, but I don't really think I could possibly get all the way from there. There's another flower. Oh! You're a tangle! Okay, I'm gonna need some tangle plorts then. Not impossible. But it might be to my advantage to try and get out of this area. Am I in the right direction? Nope. This way. I swear, every time I come back here, I'm always getting turned around. One of these days I'm gonna know my way around here as well as I know the Indogo Quarry at this point. I've got that place memorized. Ouch. Did I read you already? Yes, I did. You are the warning about the solar anomaly. There we go. There's the oasis. Okay, on the lookout for tangles. Well, there's a tangle. And there's a tangle torch. So that's effectively what I need. Just gather a bunch of ta tangle torches when I see them. Lovely. Yeah, everyone's so 
upset. Okay, okay. I need to figure out where the closest one is. Yeah, this is this actually takes me down to where the spring is. Which is good. Now I've, I've kind of got my bearings again as to where I need to go in order to get spring water. But now I need to figure out where I need to go. Oh! Is it... Here we go! Slime key! I've unlocked a door. I don't know where it goes though. Oh, further in. Well, that's progress. Just don't go too far down. At any rate, I'm gonna have to make this curtain call. Ah, there's some flowers. So, if you enjoyed the show, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified for whenever I upload a new video. I'm getting distracted by all the shinies. I'm gonna need to take the mosaic slimes over here. Well, mosaic ports. Anyhow, that's it for me. Bye bye!